guys, um, my name's Anita and I, <laughs> okay, my name's Anita and I have social anxiety and I'm taking this video just to tell people my story and to see if anyone can relate to this. Okay, so I have had social anxiety for nine years now and the past three years have been worse than ever because um, I'm, I've also been a complete loner for the last three years. Before that I was on and off with friends but for the last three years I have had no friends at all. Um, basically um, last week I started a new job um, at a bank in the city and uh, I I suck I suck at explaining things but anyway um, before this I have worked in you know so many other jobs but I've always quit after like two to five months because of the social anxiety I it always got so bad like I just came into work crying all the time so I took you know a month off um, but then that also caused more issues because I was depressed at home um, in bed literally looking at four walls just crying all the time just not knowing what to do feeling worthless so then I was like okay let's give work one more shot, let's apply for something completely different. So I started the job at a bank in the city and it's the same thing. Like I went in with a positive, you know, mindset, but, and I tried to have a conversation with the other people who were starting with me. I, I tried so hard, like honestly, like I put in a lot of effort to you know talk with these people and ask questions and I just suck like I don't know when to say things I don't know how to say it I can't say stories like I, I just cannot say stories properly um, I'm good at one-on-one -on -one. like it's not the best but like it's a lot better than talking in a group um, but with one-on-one -on -one, it's me just asking questions so the other person's just doing majority of the talking um but in groups is it's just the worst like i just feel like running away but i try to sit through each group conversation this past week and i struggled so much i ended up just being so quiet like it looked like i was just a statue <laughs> so yeah, and also I've developed a really bad habit since high school. I have always sat in the bathroom for lunch breaks, um, before work bef and during work breaks. I'm just, I'm in the toilet or bathroom or I'm in my car and it is so unhealthy, but it has helped me because like it's been very safe for me to just sit in the toilet. And I've done so many things like I've I've cried heaps in the toilet like you guys can relate like you have probably cried so much like it's so painful like and, and then to stop crying and to go back to work again it's insane and I've, I've prayed in the toilet like I've prayed so many times hoping that the rest of the day would be better. I've sang in my head. <laughs> I've tried to memorize lyrics. I've, I've done all sorts of things. It's, it's truly been my best friend, the toilet. It sounds disgusting actually, but it has helped me in a way. Um, but it's really disgusting because you guys would know like either side of me, you can hear all the sounds of other people and yeah it's it's pretty gross but yeah um what else i think another thing about social anxiety is how you end up fantasizing a lot because i haven't had fun i haven't 
felt excited in ages because I don't have any friends to do things with. I, I just end up creating things in my head. And I think that's the saddest part when you end up having to fantasize to smile a bit like it's it sucks I'm I'm really sorry if you guys have to go through that like it, it's pretty bad and another thing is replaying things everything in your head before bed like going through this conversation you had that conversation like if you stuffed up if you stuttered if you um, if you were awkward or oh, it's that's a horrible thing as well and also um, in terms of loneliness like you guys whoever doesn't have any friends and who are lonely it's like no human deserves it absolutely no one deserves to go through it like if you are going through it I you like honestly speaking you are the strongest of them all because it takes a lot to a lot of courage a lot of strength to like get up in the morning and know that you're gonna be alone for the whole day that takes like another level of strength like honestly you should just treat yourself treat yourself that is one of the best things to do as well like every day at the end of the day I treat myself by having something like having a good meal I know that sounds ridiculous but like that's how I treat myself because there's no other way um, and yeah it's social anxiety you've got like really really horrible days and that's when like you end up wanting to like suicide or self-harm but then you've also got just medium days where like it's not too bad and it's not too good but it's still all days are just still really hard um yeah this is briefly what i go through but um at the same time i have low like extremely low self-esteem like i don't go out also because i don't think i'm pretty enough and i know this is a totally different issue so I've got like two different things going on I've got my normal social anxiety and then I've got this self-esteem linked social anxiety where I, I I'm scared to go on a bus because like I'm thinking people won't think I'm pretty it's and like if, if somebody if I'm in a group setting like a group conversation and I notice like one a, a guy just looking at the other girls and not me like I think I'm not pretty like eye contact I analyze everybody's eye contact and if they look at me I think I'm okay I think I'm pretty if they don't look at me I'm like what the hell do, what what is wrong with me like it's kind of weird I haven't come across this in any research or any websites so if you if anyone has gone through this please please let me know like I really want to know if anybody if a single person has gone through this um, yeah but and I think also and just one more thing um, okay sorry when you do have a good conversation with someone for me that's like minimum 30 seconds and a maximum of like a minute <laughs> It, it it means the world for me for that day like I think about it for the rest of the day and to them it could be it could mean like absolutely nothing but to me it means so much just that one minute of having a good conversation with somebody I, I really do miss company um, like a human deserves you know love and affection and attention to some degree and having none of that it, it it messes with your brain and your soul just craves it like every day it makes you feel really lost in life 
and it makes you doubt everything and it's yeah it's pretty bad anyway thanks so much for listening everyone it means so much and if any of you want to talk to me just 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 let just leave a comment i i love you all like I, even though i don't know you i do love you because we are going through the same thing and it's um it's yeah it it's a horrible thing that we're going through but we're doing it together and if we could just share our stories it's yeah it would help all of us out so thank you and hope to hear from you guys soon